this is gonna be my review for this game and you're probably wondering oh well why isn't she doing the review of the game over like a display of the game and i will tell you this game crashes like no other game i have ever played in my entire life i seriously cannot believe that it crashed this much basically well you know what no let's get into the review first first of all do i recommend this game honestly i would just play it for the experience um just for the experience of playing something that bad and i would not get this at full price because if so you are going to be so mad i think i got this at half price and it's looking at it right now it's thirty dollars it was like 15 or maybe it was 10 i don't remember regardless still let's go into i don't even have a script or anything for this just because whatever <sighs> this game i barely remember what it was about anymore because it was three weeks ago and i've just decided to repress it um but let's think here so as you can see the animation is pretty right it's like oh nice nice it's very nice okay whatever just a little tidbit this guy was my favorite um, okay, the things that pissed me off the most about this game were, let's think, okay, well, first of all, the female protagonist is a little annoying, but, like, that's how it is in every single Ultimate game, so that's fine, but I think the thing that pissed me off the most about this game is that, oh, right, I forgot, sorry, ADHD, this game crashes every five minutes, so if you don't want to lose all of the save progress in your game, you are going to have to save every single five minutes and just hope hope that it's not going to crash right as you save because it's done that to me so many times i probably saved this game during my like whatever hours of playing it maybe 36 hours or whatever more of playing it um a hundred times and it took me 36 hours whereas it should have taken me 20 or maybe even less but every time i had to reload the entire stupid game and if you look at the reviews it wasn't just me it's everybody else anyway um so before you get into this game you should know that it's going to piss you off um, and the reason being is that you see these two guys here, right? Well, there's more than that, obviously. There's these guys or whatever. Let's see here. Nope, just kidding. It just shows you those guys. Where are the other ones at? You've got this guy, and then you've also got this guy. And then, let's see. I don't know. It doesn't even show you the other one. That's fine. Um, okay, but the thing that bothers me the most about this game, because I actually really enjoyed the story up until the last two routes and the last two routes are the true route and the secret route so the story of this game or the premise of this game it literally says let's see take on the role of a brave young woman journeying into the unknown to uncover dangerous truths and locate her missing brother with her childhood friend that's great okay and the story like, goes really well you're like like every single route you're uncovering more and more stuff until you get to the true route right and in the true route it's supposed to go it's supposed to have the whole hero's journey right from start to end nope at the true route first of all it doesn't matter what choice you pick it will still you will still get to the same ending um no matter what so you basically don't even get to pick you're just reading the story at that point um and you don't even find out what happens to her brother so you don't even get to like the end of the story you're still kind of left with like a what the fuck so that was annoying and then other than that the worst part i think about the true route was that every route should be a different character right no but the true route is one of the previous characters you've already played you just didn't know it was the true route until you play the true route and then they take the route of a previous or no they take the previous ending from the previous route that you played who is now again the same character in the true route and they twist it to make it that it is the same sucky ending in every single route so no matter what route you choose in your mind it's still going to suck because they have made it that way and i don't want to spoil anything but literally it just ruined like every single route and like from the game because it, you know that that's the way it is in every single playthrough it's just that you didn't know it is until you played the true route and again you still don't find out what happened to our brother now the secret route you play with the character and you find out like just a little bit more and that's when you finally find out what happens to her brother i don't want to say this is a spoiler because like of course you know whatever you have to find out sometime um and it's literally like maybe like 15 minutes again no matter what you choose it doesn't really matter because it's just kind of like you're reading what they put down so it doesn't matter whatever choice you select because it's still gonna end up with the same ending and then it's just weird and then it there was like a logical how to say it didn't make sense there was there was something like illogical because they have it that the revenant i was this a spoiler i'm trying to think 
I think no. So a revenant will die if all of the violas or whatever, those purple flowers all disappear, right? And so they have those disappear in the secret route, right? Um, and so, you know, the revenants are supposed to die. But then you get to her house and this, the main heroine, has one stupid fucking flower still at her house. So riddle me how all of them died. Wouldn't someone still be left? I think so. Because I think it's like one revenant per flower or whatever. They didn't say. So anyway, really fucking stupid. And I wouldn't recommend this game. But I would recommend it if you want to be really, really angry. Um, and disappointed in the routes and really up until the true route I was okay with this like with this game I like the mystery aspect um, even though some things like went unanswered but I really just anyway that's it for now this will be my first review usually I do playthroughs but I couldn't even do a playthrough of this because it kept fucking crashing and it wouldn't record in OBS so nothing I can do about that there anyway I'll probably be buying a switch soon and updating my computer that way I can download something called I don't know whatever some new software that way I can fully move with this anyway I hope you guys enjoyed my little rant I feel better